had one come up on a teaser just now, fishing for a while, but we got one bait out, two teasers, and something came up and just chugged on the uh, right teaser. You never know if they're gonna come back. Fish on, behind you. Swimming right at the boat. There we go. Coming across the corner. Oh yeah, it's a wild one. We got a screamer. Oh yeah, baby, look at that wahoo. Wahoo! Dude, that's a nice wahoo. Nice Whoa, that's a winner. Nice fish, man. Nice job. So we're gonna be cutting this thing up. Nice and thin. A little wasabi, a little soy sauce, maybe. Oh, yeah. Mark right here and call it Ryder, okay? Welcome back to another episode of Living the Dream. Today we're out in Grand Bahama with uh, Bimini Kid, Nick Wood, and uh, Who's Your Daddy Fishing Team. And today we're trolling for Wahoo. Can't really turn the handle much right now because we got one on. And I'm just starting to be able to get enough uh, pull on them to be able to bring them in closer to me. But that's what it's all about this trip, guys. We're going for Wahoo and pretty much Wahoo only. So we'll see what we can catch out here see how many we can come up with. We're trolling a spread with Mr. Biggs and uh, the Wahoo Whackers, and I believe this one hit a Mr. Big. We'll see when it comes in here. When you're fighting one of these Wahoos with a bent butt rod like this, you want to leave the rod in the rod holder. And just turn the handle and just steadily bring that fish in. Won't get any slack that way, of course. And as you see, we're leaving the boat in gear. Keep things moving the right direction. Behind the wheel up there's Captain Rudy. He's making things happen for us. We're kind of zigzagging in and off the ledge right here out on the north end of Grand Bahama. And it's a pretty flat, calm day. It's my kind of fishing when it's for wahoo fishing because a lot of times when we're out here wahoo fishing, it's pretty rough. So this is a nice change in pace for us, that's for sure. Getting closer. It's taking a while. This is the long rod here. This one was out about 100 yards and he took about 100 more. Oh, there it is. Decent fish, buddy. Oh, yeah. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Not bad. Not go. bad at all. Let's grab that fish and show these guys what they hit there. Want to pop that out? Yep. All right, guys, and those teeth right there are the reason that we use this AFW cable. This is 400 pound cable, and those teeth right there are super sharp, and that's why we use it. Look at those things, man. Look at the mouth on that. 
What a fish, what a way to start it. Welcome to the Bahamas. There's another look at that Wahoo Whacker. Good lure, man, look at that. Took a chunk out of the skirt. That's why I replaced the skirt so much because they will chew them up. Red and black, did it this morning. The weather's picking up some and so is the fishing. <laughs> Just got a double header. And these feel like the right ones because I can't hardly move the handle. Oh, those are real ones, buddy. Oh, yeah. Should be three in the boat already. There it is. All right. Louisa ended up hooking into another Barracuda, but it seemed like I had something a little better on. There it is. Watch your feet. That's a Wahoo wannabe oh, right man. there. Oh, man. Hope you don't care about that lure too bad. That one's been a hot one. That's a Spanish one. <laughs> Still working on this one. I think this is the right thing. Man, we got some rollers out here. Went from being flat calm to probably about two to fours. Supposed to pick up the seven footers later today. So who knows how rough it's gonna get. But we're working hard on these fish, that's for sure. Trying to get as many as we can in, but we can still be out here trolling. This one's also on the Wahoo Whacker. It's been the uh, magic bait. We've been trolling a spread of just about everything. We have some Yozuri Bonitas out, some uh, Mr. Biggs, but the Wahoo Whacker is what's getting nailed. It's what's getting whacked. Woo! Yeah, he is not coming in quick by any means. And this is the long line, so the shotgun was definitely the one to get hit. It's happened twice now on the long line. World record on Wahoo is 185 pounds. I believe the Florida record's around 140 or so. So they grow big, but the average fish we're catching around here is anywhere from 25 to 60 pounds typically in the Bahamas. But they get some monsters too. I ended up having a nice wahoo on, man, and when I saw that fish, I could tell it was a good one. Pulled that fish in the boat and realized that it got bit by something, either a big barracuda or a shark or something took a chunk out of that fish. Good job. Got a chunk taken out of him, but that's our fish. <laughs> and that's what is happening on right there, the Wahoo Whacker, variety of colors, the black and red's been doing really well, and now the dolphin one, and these skirts are getting tore up, but that's what we want, man. And look at this, shark got a hold of his tail, big old fatty, and he's all busted up. Not what we wanted to happen, but the fish came in, and he's barely holding on right there. And then we got another hit, and Louisa said this time it felt like the right one. And I think he got a good one. I think so. Jimmy got a nice one earlier that got attacked by a shark, I believe. But we still got it in the boat. Hopefully this one will come in intact. <laughs> All right, let's the lead right there. Oh, there he is, there he is. Good yeah. fish, Louisa. Look at this. He spit the lure as it came in, guys. As that fish came in the boat, it fell right out of his mouth. That's the uh, Wahoo Whacker. It was a green one. The skirt got all tore up, and we put a purple skirt on it. So that worked. And let me show you Louisa's fish here. Monster Wahoo Louisa. That was a huge wahoo that Louisa caught, man. I mean, that was a great fish. That's the size fish we were after. <laughs> oh my God. Having a heck of a time holding on to your fish. It's a slippery one. Through that lure, as soon as it was gaffed, yeah. we came in the boat. What a fish, Louisa! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I won the fight against the sharks. We got the fish inside yes. in the boat. Without having the sharks yes. get it. Oh, got it. Real. Wow. I had to throw my crusty gloves on to be able to hold this thing. This gets so darn slippery. But what a fish! Nice fish. Got some weight to him. Holy cow. Look at that thing, guys. Lots of really good sashimi tonight. They put up a fight, that's for sure. We are 40 miles off the coast of Anguilla, heading towards an area that is known to hold Wahoo. All right, Julian's on. This next spot did not disappoint. Yeah, keep reeling. What is Julian gonna catch now? He got a little baby Wahoo. Julian! The Wahoo Slayer. Wow. Nice Sashimi. 
Got them on, got them on. Start winding, stay tight. You got a little wahoo coming in. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that your first wahoo? Uh, I think so. I love it. Oh, he just got bit. I think I have a wahoo, and I haven't caught a wahoo yet in Anguilla, so it'd be kind of cool to see it. Hey! My first Anguilla and wahoo. Look at the colors on that thing. That is a nice fish box. Put him out one more time and maybe we get out of here, huh? So we just got down to the launch ramp. We're gonna unhook the boat off the trailer and then we're gonna head out. The water looks pretty blue today. Uh, not a lot of wind, so we're excited. To see what we find. On our way out to uh, the dive spots we dive, we like to put out the trollers. A lot of times we'll catch mahi-mahi or tuna on the way out to the dive spot. We have a pretty large assortment of lures over there. They tend to like them and these ones tend to work really well. There's full life over here. You can see when you just drop one little piece of chum off the side of the boat. Is there a leader? There's quads in there. I don't know if you need quads. It's not big. I think it's an Aku, the way it's going down. Spin it. Watch your rod behind you. Watch out, Ono's coming Is it Ono? Oh, oh. oh. Watch out. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a Wahoo? Well, that was the second one I've ever made. Wahoo, yeah. Well, thanks, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dude, I thought it was a Dorado. Whoa. Day number two out here at Old Bahama Bay. Still wahoo trolling. You're gonna see a lot of those coming over the next couple days. And uh, I don't know if this is a wahoo or not. It might be a barracuda. But at least we got that drag moving early in the morning. I got that first hit of the morning and at first I thought it was a cuda, but it wasn't. Yeah, it's coming in a little quicker here. Getting them real close. It ended up being a pretty nice wahoo. Here we go. This a little guy. Thought it might have been a barracuda, but it's a wahoo. All right, well, welcome back to day number two out here wahoo fishing. And uh, got us a little guy. But you know what? They taste just as good. Look at the colors on them, man. Little zebra stripes. Pretty fish. Wow, look at these teeth here. Look how sharp those things are. That's why I use that hard wire right there. Razor sharp, very tightly knit together teeth. Lose a finger easy on those guys. All right, we'll get that lure back out there and try it again. 